Week 13 of fantasy basketball season, and here's a few forwards that looked it off the wire this week. The first guy, Xavier Tillman of the Memphis Grizzlies. So Tillman getting a real opportunity now for this Grizzly team, where pretty much their whole starting lineup's been out. I know Jaron Jackson, he's day-to-day right now and could come back soon, but Xavier Tillman's been a decent player over the last few seasons here for this Memphis team. A gritty player, he could do a little bit of everything. And I think he helped fantasy owners in a few categories. On the season, 6.1 points a game, 4.8 rebounds, 1.5 assists, 1.2 steals, and 41% from the field. But the last couple weeks here, since he's got more playing time and coming off a little bit of an injury as well, 6.6 points a game, 5 rebounds, 1.5 assists, 1.1 steals, and 51% from the field to Tillman like I said he's not the most athletic player but he's a guy that finds a way to get things done and he's getting major minutes with all these injuries over here for this Memphis Grizzly team January 9th at Dallas 14 points 11 rebounds two assists two blocks 66 percent from the field January 12th versus the Clippers 20 points nine rebounds two assists a steal two blocks at 380 percent from the field in January 13th versus the Knicks 12 points five rebounds five assists a whopping six steals in that one, a block, and 40% from the field. So right now, he's not going to score the basketball at an amazing clip. But passing the basketball, rebounding, and a stealer of the basketball, he's going to give you those categories, Xavier Tillman. So right now, while he's available in 61% of fantasy leagues and definitely help fantasy owners and getting major minutes now with all the injuries over here for the Grizzly. He's an ad this week. Next forward, I looked at off the wire this week, Jabari Walker. Of the Portland Trailblazers. So Jabari Walker, he's been getting more playing time this season. And we know this Trailblazer team has been getting blown out over the last few games here. And they pretty much haven't been performing or putting up points. And they're playing the young guys now in the year 8.3 points a game. 5.7 rebounds, 48% from the field. But the last couple weeks, 10.3 points a game. 9 rebounds, 2.3 assists, and 47% from the field here for Jabari Walker. So I know Walker, he missed a few games from January 5th to January 11th, but the few games he did play, January 1st of Phoenix, 10 points, nine boards in that one, a steal, 42% from the field. January 3rd at Dallas, four points, five boards, four assists, 33% from the field. Then January 12th, a nice ball game in his return at Minnesota, 17 points, 13 rebounds, three assists, a steal with three, 54% from the field. So right now, Walker could do a little bit of everything. I know his three-point shooting definitely has to improve, but right now, like I said, well, this Portland Trailblazer team, they got a lot of young guys on this roster and one of the worst teams in the league, getting blown out over the last few games by big margins. He's definitely an ad this week, and he's going to get the playing time. The next forward I looked at off the wall is Caleb Martin of the Miami Heat to Caleb Martin. So far, it's been a mixed bag of results since he returned from injury. On the season, 11 points a game, 5 rebounds, 2.2 assists, 1.2 threes, and 44% from the field. So the last few games here for Martin since he returned like I said one good game and one bad game fame January 12th versus Orlando 11 points four rebounds to assist the steal with three 50 percent from the field and January 14th Hornets two points three rebounds to assist the steal 20 percent from the field so he's got to get his legs on the room a little bit he's got to get his stamina back because he missed games from December 28th all the way to January 10th so a good two weeks he missed was Caleb Martin, and we know Caleb Martin, he's a good player. We saw last season in the playoff run in the finals for this Miami Heat team. And I think he'd go out there and start getting things going. Before the injury, he was having some big ball games. He 20 points in some of those games. So right now, like I said, Caleb Martin, we saw a lot of him in last season. And I think he bounces back, and right now, well, he's available in tons of fantasy leagues at 84%. I will give him an ad this week next Next forward, I looked at off the wall is Norman Powell of Los Angeles Clippers. Powell, we know he could shoot the basketball and hit the three-pointer. And he's been a main piece off the bench now for this Clipper team over the last season and change. On the year, 13.3 points a game, 2.4 rebounds, and assists, two threes, and 49% from the field. But the last couple weeks, 14.3 points a game, 2.9 rebounds, and assists, 2.4 threes, and 50% from the field. So right now, Powell, he's available in 59% of fantasy leagues. And he, like I said, if you need a guy who could shoot the three ball and score the basketball 13, 14 points a game and get three, four boards, I think he's a decent ad this week. January 10th versus the Raptors, 13 points, three rebounds, an assist, three threes, 36% from the field. January 12th at Memphis, 11 points, five boards, 62% from the field. And January 14th at the T-Wolves, 13 points, a rebound, 
a block three three sixty two percent from the field. So if you need three point shooting and some rebounding and scoring, I think Norman Powell's a decent end, and he's available. Like I said, in fifty nine percent of fantasy leagues, and the fifth and final forward I looked at off the wire this week here is Obi Topping. Like Indiana Pacers, so I'll be top in the last few weeks here, starting to get things going and playing good basketball for this Indiana Pacer team. And I know they got him in a deal for him, a lottery pick from the New York Knicks in the offseason on the year 11.8 points a game, four rebounds, 1.5 assists, 1.4 threes, and 58% from the field. But the last couple weeks, he's playing real good as Obi 13 points a game, 4.4 rebounds, 2.4 assists, two threes, and 57% from the field so right now he's fitting the system pretty well i believe for this indiana pacer team available in 53 percent of leagues and this is possibly the last chance for onus to go out there and get him if he continues the pretty good play january 10th versus the wizards 15 points seven boards three assists three three 60 percent from the field january 12th at the hawks 18 points seven boards four assists 100 percent from the field and january 14th at the Nuggets, 11 points, 3 rebounds, and assists to steal, 3 threes, 80% from the field. So topping, he's been shooting the 3-ball pretty well over the last few weeks here. He's scoring the basketball, and we know he's an athletic freak as well and a high flyer. So right now, while he's out there, still is topping. He's a good ad this week, so that's a few forwards that looks hit off the wire for Week 13 of the Fantasy Basketball season.